everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels, and here are your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave anything else behind, but most of all, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck. So let's get on with your readings. So Gemini, let's have a look at your cards for this week. And the teacup tarot cards start off with the three of wands. This is your overall energy for the week. And this is very much a card of making long-term plans and starting to do the groundwork now for them. This card says, look out to the future, make your plans, see where you want to go. What is it that you want to manifest? And start the first little steps now. And that's just what our angel's doing, look. Her long-term goal is beautiful forest of healthy trees. But in order to get there, she has to plant the little seedlings first. And that's just what she's doing. She's getting the groundwork done. She's taking those first steps and enjoying a little cup of tea while she's doing it. So that's your overall energy. Long-term plans, first action steps. Your help or your hurdle, the eight of coins comes in. And this card says, be mindful, take Notice of all the small details. Dot the I's, cross the T's, read the small print twice. We're just stepping into a Mercury retrograde. That's just what that says. Rethink, redo, reread. So please look at the small details. Make sure that everything is what you think it is and get all the information that you can this week. And your guidance, the Queen of Teacups steps forward. This is very much a card of charity, humility and humanity. Now, the Queen of Teacups is right there in the middle, making sure everybody else is cared for and loved and feels that way. But in order for her to be so good at that, she needs to make sure that her energy levels are topped up first. So this could say to you, self-care, put you at the top of the list, top your energy levels up first, and then stepping into this role of loving, humility, humanity, looking after others, making sure their needs are met. She personifies loving kindness and everyone in her orbit feels loved and cared for. In order to do that, she needs to be fully looked after herself. How can we help ourselves? The seven of wands comes in and says, you need to be gently and kindly assertive. Time for you to stand up for yourself. Know that you do have an opinion and it is worth listening to. Now the angel on the card here, look, she's nearly at the success here. It's just over that hill. But across in front of her is this gate and behind it, we have a flock of grumpy sheep. Now, in order for her to get to the success, she's going to have to walk through that flock there. They're looking a bit intimidating, some of them. But all she has to do is be kind, be assertive, stand up for herself, keep moving forward, keep her eyes on success. And that's just what you need to do this week. Pulling it all together, in comes the High Priestess. Now, again, this is about finding out information. The High Priestess asks you to think it all through. Pause. She's reading a book here called How to Just Wait. This tells you there's no rush, but it does remind you to make sure you've got all the information. Take time out to find information. Go within. How do you feel about something? Is it what you really, really would like to do? Or are you doing it just to please somebody else? Just think about how you feel about your way forward, how you feel about these long-term plans. 
This asks you as well to do the research because there could be some information here that you need to find out. This could tie in very well with these dotting the I's, crossing the T's and the tiny details. The high priestess says, stop, think it through, make sure these long-term plans are where you want to go and make sure that you find out all the finer details before moving forward. And your final outcome card is beautiful. It's the Ace of Teacups. The Aces are about new beginnings. <clears throat> the Ace of Teacups is about wonderful positive emotions coming in to find you. Feeling emotionally fulfilled. We're talking about that here with the Queen of Teacups. The Ace brings in happiness, joy, love, positivity. It's the start of these lovely new emotions coming in to find you. So let's just summarise. Long-term planning and making that action plan and taking those first steps. As you do, check, recheck, check again all the details. Show those qualities of charity, humanity and humility, loving kindness towards others. But in order to do that, make sure that your energy levels and you are looked after first. Self-care is key. Stand up for yourself. Be gently, be kindly assertive. Get your point across. Know that what you have to say is important and worth listening to. And overlook the whole of the plan. Is it what you really, really would like? Is it fitting with you? How does it make you feel? Does it make you feel good? Does it make you feel excited and enthusiastic? If it does, move forward with it. If it doesn't and there's little bits of doubt and uncertainty, get more information. But make sure you have all the information that you need before you move forward. And this is the beginning of lovely positive emotions coming in. New love, it can be a new love coming in. Happiness, joy, it also says trust your intuition. Go within, that's what the High Priestess says. Trust that it's there to help you. So clarifying with the Time to Shine deck, we've got the Zero of Wisdom, that's the Dreamer, the 19 of Wisdom, One of Life, Four of Emotion, 11 of Wisdom, and the Three of Emotion. Now, that's lovely. Zero of Wisdom is the first card in the whole deck. It's the equivalent of the dreamer in the standard tarot. This says, follow your dreams, enjoy new opportunities. You can do it. Now, it might mean stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit. It might be going after something that you only thought was a dream. But this card says, you've got it. Take that leap of faith. You've got everything you need. Know that you're ready. The 19 of wisdom says that it's happiness, success and joy. Act on those brilliant new ideas. We're talking about taking action. Here it is again. Start those new ideas. Get them into a plan. And here's your door of opportunity. The one of life says it's time for you to open these doors of opportunity. It's coming in here. Abundance is coming in for your opportunity. Make sure you walk through that door when it is presented. The four of emotions says, stand back and look out for wonderful opportunities coming your way. This card, the one of life says they're coming here. Here it is. In order to find that, you need to step back, look at the bigger picture. And make sure that you're not missing anything. So wonderful opportunities are coming. They might be coming from a different direction. They might be not coming from where you, the direction you thought. But this card says, turn around, look at the whole picture. Here's the good news coming in and even better news. Look out for it. Make sure you're paying attention. And it's fallen just under the seven of wands card when you're being assertive standing up for yourself. Stand up, look at the bigger picture and look for the opportunity. 
The 11 of wisdom is the strength card and it says using kindness to get results. Now, this card says be kindly and gently assertive and here it is again. Be confident, be strong and know that using kindness can bring results for you very often, very much quicker. Visualize the success that you're after. Visualize where you want to be going and be gently and kindly assertive. Yes, you can do it. And the final outcome card here, the three of emotion, is celebrating good news, social invitations, having fun, time for celebration. So summarizing the time to shine deck. Follow your dreams, act on those wonderful ideas and keep an eye open for these opportunities coming in. Be gently and kindly assertive. Stand up for yourself. Success is right here for you. And be mindful when you're making these long-term plans to look at the details again and again. Find out information for yourself. Look things up. Find out the information. Go looking for it. And when you have all that information, here's the opportunity. Here's the abundance. And the wonderful positive emotions and success will be right here for you. But you've got some work to do in order to get there, to get these long-term plans in place and to get the action steps which will work for you into the plan and you starting to take those first steps. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, please subscribe. It's fantastic when you do. And then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now, and I'll see you soon.